We're back for more Saturday video game fun. Won $22,000 on Wheel of Fortune for the Wii. Now, we're going to be playing Jeopardy. And after the Jeopardy, it's our game show fever. It's our Saturday video game fun showcase. And this week, we're doing a lot of Family Feud games. At least three or four Family Feud games. Will be played. Now, let's play Jeopardy. Let's make three games one in a row today. We're having a good day. We're having a good Saturday video game fun. everyone today. Here we go. The Jeopardy round is where we start, as always. And we start the Jeopardy round categories with this one. Mythology. Name that planet. That's my mom. South Korea. Pets. And controversial TV. Let's Player one, one my make a selection. TV. This singer's hip gyrations on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1957 were not shown because they were deemed too sexual. Yes, player three. Right. You again, player three. In a speech, this real-life VP blasted fictional Murphy Brown for her choice to have a child out of wedlock. It's player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the plus control pad. And good for you. You get to pick again, player one. This animated show proved nothing is sacred with the episode Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Let's hear it, player one. That's right. Way to go. Player one, pick again. She shocked many with her wardrobe malfunction in the 2004 Super Bowl halftime show. One. Who is Janet okay, Jackson? Player one. Victory Paramount! I know we're player doing one. a lot better than again, the Saturdays in the it last It was Saturday alien show. telekinesis that caused TV's first interracial kiss on this show. It's player two. Oh, that's not right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? No way. Here's the response we were looking for. Star Trek. Star Trek? You're kidding me. Choose again, player one. 
With more than 70 million living with American households, this is the most common house pet in the United States. Player one. Oh, Please speak again, player one. Fuck. This type of parrot that bears the name of a South American river can get used to cooler temperatures. Here's what we were looking for. The Amazon. Player one, back to you. Often advertised in comic books, see these are actually brine shrimp in suspended animation. Let's hear it. Player two. Good. <laughs> Player two, back to you for our next selection. Christian Huygens wrote about this planet's rings back in 1659. Yes, player one. <laughs> yes. Victory Pyramid! We're doing a positive again. game today. William Howard Taft was the last prez to have one of these grazing at the White House. Her name was Pauline Wayne. Okay, player two. You've got some money again. You again, player two. I'm in the lead. Some say his twelve labors were penance for killing his wife Megara and their children. It's player three. That is correct. We return to you, player three. Jupiter is the Roman equivalent of this Greek god. Player three. Chance. Sorry. Oh, baby. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the correct response. Zeus. Player three. Pick again. She was given a box and told not to open it. She did releasing the world's evil, but shut it before hope could escape. Captain. Here's what we wanted. Pandora. Select again. Let's go to the clue crew for this next clue. According to Greek myth, this monster depicted here eight people who could not answer its riddle. Let's hear it, player one. Sorry. Oh. That's wrong. That's okay. We're still Any on the other takers? The plus side. The correct response is the Sphinx. Oh, yeah. Okay. Player three, Let's back to you. Oh, this, this Greek sea god could cause springs to flow and create storms with a flourish of his trident. Here's the correct response. Poseidon. Poseidon? Poseidon. You get to pick again, player three. Instrument-laden rovers landed on this planet in 2004. The correct response is Mars. Choose again, player three. With more than 10 million people, it's the largest city in South Korea. Yeah. 
here is what we wanted. Soul. Please pick again. Player three. The 12th century book, Samguk Sagi, recounts the time when this religion came to Korea from India. We're talking about Buddhism. Layer 3, you pick again, please. At the 2008 Summer Olympics, South Korea's Cha Dong Min won the heavyweight gold medal in this national sport. Yes, player two. That's correct. Player two, back to you for our next selection. This medicinal herb of the genus Panax is native to Korea. Okay, player two. Right you are. Choose again, player two. MacArthur thought the battle for this port would end the Korean War. Didn't work out that way. Player three? That is correct. You again, player three. In 1758, Ben Franklin issued his last publication of this annual. It's player one. Okay, player three. Hey, you're right. We return to you, player three. The great red spot on this planet is actually a giant storm. Let's hear it, player one. Oh. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's what we were looking for. Jupiter. Select again. Game fish of the family Istiophoridae with a pointed snout. Yes, player three. Ooh, sorry. That's incorrect. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. The marlin. Layer three, back to you. A doctor who specializes in the treatment of skin diseases. Here's the correct response. A dermatologist. You get to pick again, player three. And I'll hand it off to Kelly. Its silhouette is seen here. Player one. Right. <laughs> Player one, back to you for Dr. Faustus Playwright. Here's the response we were looking for. Christopher Marlowe. Please pick again, player one. It's the Daily Double. You're in second now, but with an opportunity to catch up a bit. What are you going to wager? Answer this. A year on this planet is 88 days long. Pick again. 
Pets for a thousand. One of the oldest domesticated dog breeds is the Saluki, the royal dog of this ancient yeah. people. Here's the correct response. The Egyptians. Let's have a look at the thousand dollar clip. In the wake of a recent demotion, this is now the outermost planet. Yes, player two. Yes. The double jeopardy round will begin. And we're going to do that double jeopardy round coming up after this station break. Right after these messages.